Hello, 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 hello. Today we're going to do magical eyes. I've learned some tips on how to do magical eyes and I want you to join me. So are you ready? Let's get to it. First I'm going to clean my eyeballs. Clean them because look, they're greasy. With my Marcella water, a little cotton ball, and I'm just going to, I'm not going to drag. I'm just going to get that off. Okay? I want to get that off so it's ready for my concealer. And in this video, I will list everything that I've used. This is from a previous video that you will see before the eyes. Okay? All right. So what I'm going to put on my eyes, I am going to take the Milani, and this color is... I'm going to light nude. I'm trying, I'm going back through my arsenal and pulling out stuff that I have that I was on the fence on and try to narrow it down. Oh my gosh, it's insane how much, how many concealers I have. So I'm going to shake this up. I love eyes. I love playing with the eyes. So we're going to try this on the eyelids. Feels like they're dry. And I'm just going to take this little brush. <gasps> Less is more. And, oh, I got that on my eyelash. <laughs> we don't want to make our eyelashes nude. I love my Angie kitten paw. Okay. And we're going to do... And it looks really light, but uh, it really helps with the discoloration. Because mine are like brownish orange. <laughs> that discoloration. You can go all the way up to your eyebrow. And it's a good idea, too, to take your fingers, even after you press, to make sure you press that in. You don't want creasy eyes. While that's setting up a little, the eye palette I'm using is the Candy Shop, a Juvia's Juvi place. And why I'm using this is because I want to show you the technique of messing up your eyes and then having them turn out beautiful. Yes, this is right up my alley, ladies. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to mess them up. And I'm going to use my thinners. I have these beautiful brushes here that might come into the rescue. So I'm just going to dip into some of these. So I'm going to go into a pink. And I'm going to grab a blue. Just put it all over. Then I'm going to grab an orange. <laughs> and you just dab it all over. Okay? And it won't be the same on either eye. I'm gonna just get. Oh, I'm gonna get a hot pink too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and it can all be fixed up. And then you take Angie's 503. It's a blush brush. Blush. It's a mixer. Look at this. Okay, and then I'm just gonna start subduing it. And you can still do it with your finger. Just, just press it in, and then start mixing. And if you get it up too high, you can go in with more concealer. And I forgot to powder, but this is powder. Okay. All right, and then a little more of the blue. And I'm going to put it right here. I think this is fun because you're going to come up with something you've never done before. And follow your eye layout. And then you can take a transition color if you like. Yeah, follow your yellow brick road. A small, oh, this Angie 5 something. I will name all the brushes below because I can't see and I have to keep putting my glasses on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brown down here and dip it in there. And then I'm going to go into the here to make this my transition color. We're going to come up with something really fun. You can do this, with, of course, with any palette. Okay. I might do a little in the corner, too. See? Just push it in. So we're going for a let's have fun eye look today. Just grab all your eye shades like I showed you. I'll show you on the other side again. Hopefully the eye will turn out the same. So I'm just, I don't even know what the combo was, lady, but I'm going to do pink and blue and then dark pink and dab it on this eye. Didn't get enough blue. Look at that. Oh, and then I'll dip into the orange because I did that on the other side. Okay. 
And then when you blend, you'll see. Isn't that fun, ladies? Okay, so you can do it more subdued colors, but I wanted this to show up. I'm going to take a little more blue where I want like that. This is going to be a this is going to be a patchwork eye. What do you think? Now I'll go on with my transition shade. That was the brown. And I'll do my windshield wiper. I can go down a little bit further. Okay. And then I'll take it in the corner. This is like speeded up, but this shows how easy it is. We're trying to apply meticulously. It takes longer. This is just, I thought this was just ingenious. Smitha the Peck. I don't see her name right. She has these really cool eye techniques. I just love her. So we're going to do a lot of cleanup and look straight ahead too. You know that. I can go up more in my color. Oh gosh, isn't that fun? Look. Oh, and remember, <laughs> if you use your fingers after you've been dipping in there, you're going to mess up with, I just messed up the concealer I had here. Clean it up, just go around and clean. If you think you got too much, you just you can just do some more concealer here to bring it down. Yeah. Shake it off. And then you go back over. It's like a little discolored there. I'm gonna probably have to do some more. Yeah. You just pull it down. Okay, ladies. I think it's so cool. Look at that. Because at any palette, just dip in and go whimsical. I like it. I'm going to try this Rimmel. I really like more of a color up here. I didn't get any pretty pretty on the eyelid, so I think I'm going to take this one here and dip my finger in it. And just do right, just kind of bring it out, not too much. Oh, pretty. I'm going to try, I had got Catrice when I did my Catrice video, and I wasn't impressed with it. It's a nice little brush, so I'm going to try it again. I'm not sure what I didn't like about it. Oh yeah, it has a lot of clump clumps on it. Okay. I think that's what I didn't like about it is it's clumpy mascara. And it's uh, flaking. I mean, it's spreading all over. But I've learned a really cool thing. You want a spoolie. And you want to let those flakes dry a little bit. I know our impression is to first wipe it off with our finger or whatever. But it's still wet, so it just spreads it. So... Okay, so where that is, you just brush it gently, and it comes right off. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, spread out my lashes. Okay, ladies, what do you think? Is that a fun way to apply eyeshadow or what? Take any of your palettes, mix and match, put them all over, but remember to have a wet wipe <laughs> so that you can wipe it off before you do any concealer because I had to put on more concealer than I wanted and that may cause it to cre crepe out. That may cause it to crease. So, all right, ladies, be wild and crazy. Go out and enjoy your day. Live, love, and laugh, and don't sip anything squishy. La La is out.